Well, good morning to everybody. <clears throat> I have this um, uh, Harbor Freight Predator 3500 inverter generator and I've had it about a year now. I have had no problems with it whatsoever. Um, it just runs great. Uh, I'm getting ready to do a run up on it now because um, I haven't run it in a, in a little while. I had a couple of uh, a couple little modifications that I've done to it that won't affect my warranty um, that I thought I might uh, pass along to you. I'm going to run it for a little while first just to uh, warm it up and uh, make sure everything is still okay in it. So I don't need to show you how to start the thing. Everybody knows that. Anybody who's had one of these. Um, so uh, let's uh, let's just fire it up and uh, let it run. Okay, I got it running here. It's just sitting here, nice and quiet, just running. It hasn't been run in uh, I don't know two three months, I think, something like that. But I have a couple modifications that I'll uh, show you that I do. Uh, but I'm going to let it run for a while first, just to. Uh, exercise it. Okay, one of the problems that people have with any of these little small generators is bad fuel or uh, carburetor clogging up because fuel is left in the carburetor. And one of the things about this Predator that is really, I really don't like isn't too much of a problem, but there is no fuel shutoff. There's no way to drain the carburetor in this thing without taking the side panel off. So when you shut it off, like that, there's still carburetor fuel. There's fuel in the carburetor. Let me move around here to the side. I'll show you what I have done to fix that issue. Um, on the side here, there's a little door for checking the oil. And what I've done is I've added a quick drain here. And I'll pull this panel off so you can see. I don't have to pull this panel off to drain the fuel, to drain the carburetor, but I'm going to pull it off to show you how I did this. This, this comes off pretty easily. I've already taken the screws loose here. Okay, so what I did, I don't know whether you can see this or not, but this, the carburetor is here, um, and, the, and the screw underneath here is a is this drain, and it drains out and comes down here. Well, what I've done is I've turned the screw open so it's open all the time, and I put a rubber cap on it so that it doesn't leak fuel or anything. And instead of having the hose drain outside here, I put this hose on it with a shutoff valve. So when I want to drain the carburetor, and again, I don't have to take this side off. I've just done it for to show you how I did it. I've got a little shutoff valve. There's probably better ones out there, but this is the only one I could find. Take the cap off, turn it on, and drain the fuel. And this is draining the fuel out of the carburetor, so there's no no fuel left in the carburetor. And the fuel shutoff is sh is off there. That's it right there. That's all. All there is. Then I can shut this off and put that back on, and I just store it inside here like that. And I can get at it through this door pretty easily. And I've drained the carburetor. Um, so, uh, the other thing that I did, that is, to keep the battery maintained, I, I can, uh, connected, I've seen people, I've seen people put, uh, battery maintainers on, whoops, battery maintainers on it, and they drill hole the batteries in here, I don't know whether you can see that or not, and they, and they drill holes and have the wires sticking out here, well, I ran the wires from the battery, bring it back over here like this uh, over to here 
like this. And again, I can get to them from, from this door once I take the door off. So once I do that, then I have this battery maintainer and this connection and I just plug it in, plug this thing into 110 volts and maintain the battery. So that's two things that I've done that don't, that won't affect my warranty on it and uh, may solve that uh, bad gas in the carburetor problem. I hope you, uh, hope you found that interesting. I'm here, don't worry, I'm just moving you around a little bit. <laughs> okay, that's all. Okay, something that I noticed when I was draining this and making this demo is this fuel does not look all that great. That should not be yellow in color. That should be kind of clear. Uh, so I have stable in the fuel, but I never put much fuel in this thing in the first place uh, unless I'm out in the field and running it. So I'm, I'm getting a little concerned about this fuel. It might be getting a little on the old side. Because I really haven't used this generator much uh, since uh, my last camping trip last June. So I'm draining, I'm draining all the fuel out of it. And uh, I'm going to replace it with some good stuff. I just have a feeling this doesn't look good. <laughs> Running okay, but I don't want to take a chance. And just for the reference purposes, can you see the fuel that I've drained out of this thing? has kind of a orange, I mean a yellow tint to it. That means it's getting old. This is fresh fuel. Look at the difference. So I think I kind of let that fuel stay in a little bit too long. Uh, this, is, this is what good fuel should look like. It's just almost clear like water. This yellow stuff, even though this thing was running fine, I think I proved I think a little preventive maintenance just saved me some trouble because I probably was about to gum up the carburetor or something. So anyway, I have all the fuel drained out of it now and I'll put in some fresh fuel and, and more stabilizer.